Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Susan and we are going to do another fun art project. And what we're going to do this week is we are going to learn how to draw the pigeon from the Mo Willems books. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. The pigeon finds a hot dog. All those great books and you are going to learn how to draw pigeon yourself. And I've got everything you are going to need right here. Okay, you're going to need your crayons, particularly your black crayon is what you're going to need. Black crayon. You're going to need scissors, your watercolor paints, a brush, a glue stick, white paper, and then a colored piece of paper. I chose purple for mine, okay? So to start with, we put all this other stuff to the side. We're going to need our white sheet of paper and the black crayon. All right, once you have your paper and your black crayon, we'll get started. The first thing you're going to have to draw for your pigeon is his eye, okay? And I want you to be careful where you put it. If you put it too far to one side or somewhere, you, you might not have room for his body. So why don't we put his eye sort of in the top middle of the paper, right up here. Circle about that big. I think I'm going to make him looking this way, okay? How about that? Or you could always put his eyeball right in the very middle if you want, okay? Now, let's draw a circle around that, sort of like this is the donut hole and this is the outside of the donut. Not too big, I'm just gonna make it meow. There we go. You have the pigeon's head. Now how about his beak? You're going to take your crayon, go right in the middle over here, and make a little curved line. And back. Now you could do the same thing, but underneath, you're going to make another, this is going to be a little straight line, and another little curved line. Now, if you need to catch up with me anytime during this video, you can always pause it and catch up with what I'm drawing and then start it again. So don't worry if you're having a hard time keeping up. Just pause the video. Now we're going to make his neck. I want you to draw two lines. One's going to be here. One's going to be here. Not too far. Boom, and boom. So just draw his neck down to about the middle of the paper. And now Pigeon has a ring around his neck. Let's put two lines to be his ring. How about his back? Here you have to make a decision. Do you want his body to go this way or this way? If his body goes this way, he's gonna be looking back, like back over his body. If I put it this way, he's going to be looking ahead. I think I want him looking ahead. So I'm going to draw a line right out here. Now we're going to make the rest of his body. Now watch carefully. Don't want to come too far down. Then you won't have room for his legs. Watch. I'm going out a little bit. And then right back up. Sort of like a boat, maybe. Now... Let's do his arm. Arm? Does a pigeon have an arm? No, pigeon has a wing. Draw a line straight out. Now, draw another line, start over here toward his tail. Another line straight under. Good job. His feet are super de duper easy. Draw two lines down. It's like you're drawing sort of a fork. One, two, one, two. And there you have your amazing pigeon. I think he looks just like Mo Willems' pigeon. Now what we are gonna do is we are going to paint him. So get out your watercolors and you're also gonna need a cup of water. I'm gonna run and get my cup of water. You get your watercolors and your cup of water and I'll meet you right back here. Did you get your cup of water? I did too. Okay. 
Now I'm lucky, I've got a whole bunch of different colored blues in my watercolors because I've got a big set. Some of you might only have one color blue. Just use whatever blue you have. It'll be perfect. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna use this blue here. Can you see where I'm, I guess you can't see, I'm mixing it up in a little puddle over here. I'm lucky I have this little area. You don't have to though. You can always just put it right in here and color straight from there. All right, you ready to go? Move it over this side so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm gonna paint his head. Don't paint his eye though. His eye is not blue, is it? Now, I'm gonna paint the top of his neck. Don't paint his ring, his ring is white. Now I'm gonna paint down here. Cover all of his body with this blue. Beautiful. Now rinse your, your brush out and we're gonna have to paint his beak. His beak is yellow. Got my yellow right here. All right, here it goes. There's his yellow beak. What do you think? I think he looks pretty good. Now I want you to wait for him to dry, all right? Wait for him to dry, and then we'll do one last thing. All right, mine is nice and dry now, so I'm going to cut him out. I'm going to just right over here. I'm trying to cut out on the lines. If you want to cut a little outside the lines, that's fine too. Now I'm getting down to his feet. I'm just gonna cut out around his feet like this. I can't cut out those skinny legs, can I? All right, you have your pigeon. We are going to set him right here. We have one other thing we're going to do, though. What is your favorite pigeon book? I like the one that Miss Laura read earlier this week. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. So I'm going to make this look just like the cover of the book. Let's take a pencil. Pencil will probably be better for this. Here's what you're going to write. Okay, watch. The first word is don't. D. D, don't. D, D, O, N, apostrophe, got that little, little mark right up there. T, now this is the cap, the, the title of a book, so a lot of the words are capitalized. Capital L, L, E, T. Don't let T, H, E. This is a sight word. Don't let the p pigeon. Pigeon is such a funny word. P. P, what does it start with? P, P, P. I, it's a G, although it says pig, but it doesn't say pigun. Pigeon, and then this is the tricky part. E, O, 
pigeon. Don't let the pigeon stay. St a up. You should be able to write up. 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 It's a sight word. A. Uh, you. A. Uh, another P. Late. What does late start with? Ooh, same letter as let. Late. L. A. T. E. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. And on the book, this is in a speech bubble. It looks like the pigeon is saying it, doesn't it? So I'm going to make my speech bubble around it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little beep boop, little open triangle down in the corner. And then I'm going to draw a circle around it. And I'm going to cut it out. Got some extra lines here and go erase those. Now I have my pigeon and I have my speech bubble and I'm gonna put them together on my paper. Of course your glue stick is what you're gonna use. Pick which side it's gonna be on. Make it so the speech bubble is pointing toward your pigeon. We'll put pigeon on first. Remember guys, when you put glue on something, if I just put glue boop, boop, in the middle like that, what's gonna happen? The edges are not gonna be glued down. You have to put glue all around the edges, all back, plenty of glue, but don't get crazy. Okay, I'm gonna stick my pigeon on. So cute. Hello, pigeon. Rub it down. Got to press it to make it stick. Look, his beak is sticking up. I'm going to put a little glue under his beak. And now I'm going to put some glue on his speech bubble. And here we go. I made my own book cover, just like Mo Willems. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Great job, everybody. I hope you had fun doing this, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.